Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? It is your boy, Bad Dog, here with a video about the NBA draft. Of course, tonight around 6.30, I'll be live for the NBA draft. Hopefully, I'm not raging when the Knicks pick third overall like I did when the Giants pick sixth overall this year. There was this talk about Darius Garland. The Knicks were interested in him. He actually worked out for the New York Knicks. But it seems like R.J. Barrett is a likely pick. Thank God. Come on, Knicks. Do it right. R.J. Barrett. A lot of people think R.J. Barrett is going to be the best player in this draft as time goes along. He may not make the immediate impact that um, Zion Williamson is going to make. But uh, definitely R.J. Barrett is one of the best players in this draft. It really is just a top three heavy draft. That name, Darius Garland, floated around. I said, oh, my God, don't do it to me, man. Don't do it to me like you did Daniel Jones. That Daniel Jones name floated around there. I said, ah, that's just a rumor. That ain't going to happen. And then it happened. Um, so take R.J. Barrett. It's a smart pick. Let's do this, Knicks. Come on, let's go in the right direction for a change. 20 years us Knicks fans have suffered. Come on, man. Pick R.J. Barrett. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? If, if for whatever reason John Morant fell out a second, I'm fine with John Morant or... Uh, R.J. Barrett. I'll take either one of them. Obviously, Zion is not going to come here. There's also a rumor that the Pelicans are trying to trade uh, their number four pick and package it up to get the number two pick so they can take R.J. Barrett. They want Zion and R.J. Barrett. So there is that rumor out there. That could happen. Who the hell knows? But hey, if they take R.J. Barrett and we get John Morant, I'm happy with that too. Don't, don't be stupid tonight because it seems so many times the Knicks draft awfully Horrible. And then when they actually do get a good uh, draft pick, they trade him away. Can we do a right for a change tonight, Knicks? You know what I'm saying? Us Knicks fans have been long-suffering. We've won one playoff series since 2000, for crying out loud, okay? Been a bad time in New York, man, the last freaking five, six years. You know, with the exception of the Yankees being decent. Thank God I root for them and not the Mets. Knicks and Giants just, you know, they're testing my last nerve, especially the damn Knicks. At least the Giants won a couple of Super Bowls here recent, well, not recently anymore, but, you know, within the last 10, 12 years, got a couple of Super Bowls. A lot of teams can't say that, but the Knicks never won in my damn lifetime. I'm old as dirt. They ain't won in my lifetime. And every year, they, they seem like they screwed a draft up, and they screw up by, by, you know, spending all this money on bad free agents. You know, if they listen to me right now, I'm fine if the Knicks just sit on this money and don't draft or don't uh, sign anybody this offseason. If Kevin Durant, you know, he's got that ruptured Achilles you know what I mean? I, you know, maybe they don't want to take a shot at that guy. Kawhi Leonard ain't going to come here. So don't, don't go out of your way to spend the fortune on guys like Jimmy Butler. Let's not do that. Let's not do what we did with Amari Steinmeier. Let's not draft terribly tonight. R.J. Barrett's the pick. If R.J. Barrett happens to go second because the Pelicans get that trade, then take John Morant. It's one of those two guys. that They're going to be there. One of them two guys is going to be there. You take one of them two guys. It's that simple. Do it. Don't make me rage. I don't want to rage tonight. But, hey, tune in and find out if I will. Until then, it's Bad Dog. I'm gone. Peace!